My name is Maddie Pender and I'm an oil painter. I am painting about recollection in childhood and oil paint is a really great medium for me because it's kind of ever-changing, allowing me to go back in and out of my paintings and adapting them to the way that I feel in the moment. More recently, I've been doing a big collection of photos of things that I'm interested in and kind of sorting through and doing little sketches of all the photos and kind of seeing what sticks and I'll have them around my studio, looking at them from day to day and kind of seeing what I think about most and then revisiting those and kind of sketching them bigger, um, doing little process shots kind of like this and then turning it into something bigger in the end. Um, other times I will just kind of have an idea that comes to me and I know that it's something I wanna do and I'll want it big and I'll just come in here and I'll grab a brush and I'll grab some really thin paint and I'll just sketch it out in paint and that'll be the start of something. Um, so it kind of changes. Um, so I've been painting pictures of my cousin um, from the ages from about maybe four to seven, but the paintings have kind of become less about Lainey specifically and more about girlhood in general and how it relates to me as an adult now, looking back at the memories that I share with her when I'm spending time uh, and just kind of relating my life back to hers and doing it in a way that's generalized enough that other people can also see their childhoods within the paintings. Mm -hmm. I think that having a studio space and being in charge of my own work and my own assignments has really pushed me to see how I would function on my own as an independent artist versus how I would function as a student in an art school. Um, so now I'm kind of learning how I could run a studio on my own after I graduate and whether or not I could be successful and keeping my own schedule and getting my own work done. Um, it's also really pushed me to have these critiques with all of the faculty twice a semester. And this is an experience that you wouldn't otherwise have. Um, and it's nice because you feel like you're in a really supportive environment, but at the same time, you know that nobody's sugarcoating anything about your work um, or what you need to do to be successful. So I know that everything I'm hearing, although it pushes me sometimes, it's pushing me to be a better artist and to be more successful when I'm on my own. I'm hoping to get certification to be an art educator in the state of New Hampshire. Um, that being said, I could also see myself working in a studio and um, really pursuing a more gallery artist lifestyle. So I guess we'll just see where things go after next year.